Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of the Supercoach Diaries. Before we begin, right off the top, if you are enjoying the series, please do like this video and also drop a subscription so you don't miss any episodes, as well as you can go back and watch the rest of the old episodes of this series. Without any further ado, let's get into the team this week. Now, this is probably the best week I've had all year. My score of 2,408 put me in the top 3% of the league, which is a pretty good result for me, who has been struggling a lot throughout this series, and it's finally starting to turn around at the right time of the year. I also dropped my rank down another 3,784 point, uh, positions. I'm down to 3, 33,740, which isn't still great, but I'm at least moving in the right direction. I want to see if I can get below 30,000 before the end of the series. My average scores up to 2,069, and overall, I feel like I'm sort of starting to move in the right direction. I won both my league games, and I had some massive scorers this week. As you can see, in my leagues, 11th and 5th, which I am pretty happy about. Well, let's get into the team. I'll show you who my big scorers were, and who was struggle, struggling. Here's how my team scored this past round. I had a bunch of big, big scores. Simpson and Bartell on the back line. Jack Steven in the midfield with 150. Stefan Martin's finally come right and scored a big 162 from the ruck for Brisbane. And Zach Merritt scored 135. So I had a lot of big scorers this week. Too bad my two captaincy choices probably didn't have breakout games that I was hoping they would. Hanabry only got 76, which is kind of disappointing. And to be honest, he has been disappointing since I brought him into the team. I'm hoping he can turn his form around before the finals begin. As well as Dangerfield, who usually would have a massive game, but still only got 111. But that's all right. I'm still, I'm still trending in the right direction. I'm still doing the right things. And hopefully that means for the, when the final league finals start in a couple of weeks, I'm going to be hitting the top hitting top form as far as changes this week goes i'm sort of i'm not sure if there's going to be any changes to this team at all as as i've said in the past i've only got two trades left and i only really want to use those in serious injury injury problems now Harren hall down here he has got an injury problem he's done his hamstring he's going to be out for another two weeks and it's that awkward time where he's going to be out for two weeks but Maybe I might need him for the last, uh, last three or four weeks in the finals. So I'm not sure if I should trade him. Do let me know in the comments below if I sh you think I should trade Aaron Hall before the, uh, before the round starts on Friday. I want your opinion to let me know if I should trade in Aaron Hall. Liberatore is also another one that I'm a bit worried about. Came back from injury last week, didn't score very big, but the Bulldogs did lose to St Kilda. So when the Bulldogs maybe have a bit more of a competitive game, maybe he scores a bit bigger there. Who knows? Let me know in the comments below. Also, do you think I should get rid of Liberatore? So Liberatore and Hall are the two trades I'm looking to make. But with only two trades left, just in case it's a serious injury, I'm not sure if I should make those changes. Do let me know. As far as captaincy goes this week, again, you can't look past Dangerfield, but... In the interest of giving a uh, bit of a difference, um, I think someone like maybe a Stefan Martin might be an all right choice because he'll be coming up against a Tranko who, while he's been playing well for Port Adelaide, isn't a recognised ruckman. Stefan Martin is a very, very good quality ruckman, so he might be the person that might score big, big points. Another one, unfortunately, for me being a Gold Coast Suns fan, could be Jack Viney. Jack Viney's going to be coming up against a very, very soft Gold Coast midfield. While they did perform last week with the likes of Sexton and Miller and Monaghan in the middle, can they back it up again against a good quality midfield like Melbourne? I'm not so sure. So Jack Viney could be another choice for captain to see if he can score big. That's another, that's another episode of Supercoach Diaries out of the way. So it, let me know in the comments below if you think I should be trading in Liberatore and Hall or both or anyone else in your team you think I should be changing in, do let me know. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel for more. I'll, I'll see you next time on the channel. Hope your team does better than mine. 
Have a good one.